All right, now playing against level three. This is trying to be a bit less sloppy, but no guarantees. Okay, it's the Karl Khan. I'm going to play the exchange variation like I usually do because I don't actually know the opening. <clears throat> That's a new one. Um, the thought that immediately springs to my end is dark square weaknesses. Though I suppose he could get a knight over here, but I can get a knight up then challenge that knight with maybe f3. Because he does not have any pawn that can challenge e5 anymore, but I have a pawn that can challenge e4. Okay, now I can get a rook here. Which does pin this pawn to the king, something to note. Now this actually attacks both pawns. Move the bishop back and defend, but okay. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah, this just looks to win material right off now. The knight, and now I'm also picking up the rook. Okay, I'll capture with my pawn, just to get pawns closer to the center of the board where they matter more. And I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. Okay, and this is with tempo on the queen, so. Level 3 has just been throwing a lot of material at me this game. Okay, I've got a passed pawn. Guess I'll work with that for a bit. Um, I'll go ahead and bring this bishop back. I'm wanting to get the queen off of there so that I can maybe have ideas to play um, e7 more easily. Okay, now I'll play this here with the idea that then I can bring my bishop over here. And that'll be hitting e8. So at this rate, it looks like it might be faster just try and figure out a mate, even. Let's go ahead and open up this file. Limit the places that the king can run to. Okay. So he does have two pieces on this pawn now. I'll go ahead and attack the queen. And the queen can't take. Um, okay, I could just win the queen now. With a rook check. And... Just for simplicity, I'll go ahead and do that. I'm on the rook as well. I can queen any time that I want, but... This is just mating. Okay, so now let's play as black. Okay, English opening again. I think that level 2 played this against me, or maybe it was level 1. I don't know.
Again, I don't really know the opening that well. That's wrong, though. So now I know that if he castles, it will be on the queen side. Okay, that's a pin on the knight, but it doesn't matter. And so much for being less sloppy. <clears throat> but the handicap could make this more interesting. As a note, both times that I've dropped pieces here, it's been because the queen was in a weird position. Like, it's playing so badly. But that's actually getting it advantages. Okay, so immediate thought, my bishop is on this rook, and this rook is undefended. So if I move my knight somewhere, then... <clears throat> <clears throat> then there will be a discovered attack on that, but I can't see anywhere useful to move it just now. I could move my rook over, have some more control over here. But, actually, I think I'll move here of getting a knight. Perhaps, okay, he's dropped the bishop. And I'll just reel that back. This pawn is now attacked. But I'll win this pawn instead because I hate my rook. But, hmm. Okay, yeah, uh, oops. Okay, so I could let the rook go, or, well, really, it's an exchange, but, or I could take here. Losing an exchange is better than losing a piece. Rook here doesn't work because the queen can just move here. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah, you know what, I'll take the knight with the pawn. Just to get this open file, he can't castle. Um, okay, so now I'll take here. And I'll go ahead and threaten checkmate. His queen cannot come to the back rank because the knight has a threat there. And this is the better move, I think. Just a forced mate into. Okay, so, very sloppy there, but there's my wins against Chess Titans level 3, trying to make it all the way to 10 in this series. I have beaten 10 before, but it takes a long time to move, and yeah, just all that. So, <clears throat> okay, that's this video. Moving on to level 4 next. Thanks for watching.